Hi, and welcome to All Things Fallout. And in this video, I'll be showing you the current stint pack farming guide that I use. Um, a lot of the other ones that I've used in the past have been patched, whereas this one shouldn't be patched because we're actually doing it as the game is designed. So what it is, I'll show you three different areas where I've created little routes and runs that you can go through and actually pick up stimps, chems and various other things. So what you'll see on the runs is that I actually go around to mirrors, first aid boxes, chem boxes, uh, doctor's bags. Now the reason I show you just them um, and you will still me pick up maybe the odd rad x or whatever on the way but the actual boxes will refresh every 24 hours so once you've done a run you can't do it for another 24 hours but also if there's other people in the area the the containers the boxes they can't if they take things out of it it doesn't mean that you can't you know somebody goes to it and they've already emptied it it doesn't matter because containers and boxes are always there for you they'll always be there it doesn't matter how 10 15 people within that server session could have gone to that box as soon as you go to it you will have items in there whereas items that are on the floor or actually in the outside world so on a shelf or whatever they will actually be removed so you can't pick them up if somebody else has done it but you probably already know all that the areas that I've picked for the runs are low level enemy areas because you don't want to use more stint packs than you actually find um, another word to note is you just, it's not all about stint packs I mean, obviously if you run these three areas you'll be picking up a little bit of XP you will also be picking up other items that you may come across if you want to do that but like I say it's not just stint packs you'll be picking up disease cures buff outs You'll be picking up radexes, anything you can think of in that kind of arena you will pick up, which is great. Because if you don't want them, it's always worth picking up um, the meds because you can always take them to a vendor and sell them. So that's what I do. I pick up, you know, and I've got a big pile of meds. I'll just flog them if I don't want them, which is also another good way of getting money. So you can get the best out of this method, I would say have one pick lock and definitely have a three farmer farmer before we go any further I'll be straight with you you are not going to get thousands of stint packs from this method for each run for each of the runs you're looking at about 10 to 11 on average sometimes it could be five sometimes it could be 25 it's all about the roll of the dice but so in total each run you could get about 10 so each day you're looking at 30 variants of the stint pack so super you get 10 supers you can get one super you get 10 diluted or 50 um normal stint packs but like i say it's all about the roll of the dice if you open 100 you're going to get 57 percent chance of hitting a stint pack with farmer farmer without it's going to be about 32 percent chance so the three areas i've chosen is flat woods morgantown airport and grafton so all for me to do is to say i really hope this helps somebody thank you for watching please like and subscribe and I will shut up and I will let you watch the three runs from beginning to end. And I really hope it helps, like I said. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the video.
scanners indicate you are made of 90% compostable material.
are you from Vault 76? I saw your overseer. She was chocolate to herself about the mayor. Such a nice lady.